it's feeding on her soul. Can you briefly tell us a little bit about this movie and how is it different from chapters one and two? Our movie starts uh, in the past, uh, prior to the beginning of chapter one. It's a brand new family story. Uh, there's other uh, new aspects to uh, chapter three that I really like. It's uh, more of a blue collar family. They live in an apartment. It seems like it's just a nuanced thing, but what it really adds up to ultimately is the sense of uh, claustrophobia. Mm -hmm. It's a family uh, struggling through the crisis of losing my wife, the mother of my children. Yeah. Uh, Stephanie plays my teenage daughter. And going back to what he said about your character, Stephanie, you, at some point in the movie, you're actually possessed by a spirit. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about your character and how did you prepare yourself to portray such a difficult there? role? There was like not much preparation you could really, I don't think, do. Cause yeah, you I mean, can't practice attacking your dad your yeah. with a box cutter. And I feel like you know even I mean? if you do practice being scared after a while, it gets campy. It's all about like being just in the moment for the possession in particular. Um, that day was like a really interesting day because Lee asked everybody like not to talk to me, and um, he he locked me in a closet and uh, played death metal, and I was immobile in a wheelchair, and it was on his headphones, and he would like do random sound checks to make sure I didn't turn out like Mumford and Sons or something. Nothing besides that. Nothing strange happened on set while you guys were shooting. Hmm. Nothing supernatural, and, but the way we made this movie, you know, there's surprisingly little visual effects in this film. Mm -hmm. uh, everything you see is actually happening. Wow. Stephanie's actually flying through the air. The bed and the when furniture you see the is actually no way. Moving. All the furniture fell around us as yeah. Lynn and I like, hit the floor. And so that, even that's kind of fun, even though it's scary because you're doing the scene and there's a dresser flying across the room. But it makes it all that more room, intense because yeah. you only have one shot to do it. If I had to pick one scary movie to watch this summer, why would Insidious Chapter 3 be the one? There is no other scary movie this <laughs> summer. This is the one. We got it out right at the beginning of the summer for you. So you can watch it once mm -hmm. and take your girlfriend. Yeah. And then I spend the rest of the summer trying to recover. Oh, bring her back. Bring her back. You said you could bring her back. I'll be waiting in the dark. When the pain finally kills you. No!